Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. I'm Jada, founder of Unbound Creation. Last week, I told you guys about my introduction into the practices of acupuncture and acupressure. So if you haven't seen that video, then I suggest watching it first because I wanted to build on that information this week. I'll link it here and in the description below. A few months ago, I was talking with a friend who had recently become a licensed massage therapist. Somewhere along the line, we started talking about getting older and everything that comes with it. At some point, I admitted to her that I never thought that pain would become an everyday part of my life. And so naturally she asked, what do you mean? You're pretty healthy and we're not that old. <laughs> so I told her that I, for the last few months and maybe even the last year, I had been experiencing an aching, slightly radiating pain in my mid back, just to the left of my spine. And so she told me that almost everyone she's talked, she had talked to or treated experienced lower back pain and maybe a few experienced upper back pain, but never mid back pain. We left the conversa conversation there, but it stayed with me. After a few days, I started to wonder whether the pain I, I was feeling was being caused by a knot, which I knew could be targeted through acupuncture based on the information I've shared in some of my other videos. So since I had been getting acupuncture puncture for the spasms in my right arm, I decided that the next time I went back, I would also request that we target the pain in my mid-back. I did, and the therapist agreed. After palpating the area of concern, he confirmed that it was hard as a rock and that he, he could even visibly tell the difference between the left and right sides of my back. Fortunately, I did experience relief after just the first treatment, and after a few more, the therapist told me that he could no longer tell the difference between the left and right sides of my mid-back. I thought I had finally found the solution to my pain, so I stopped getting acupuncture for it. But within just a few weeks, I started feeling the tightness come back. So I booked another appointment and it worked, but I didn't want to keep having to come back. So this time I asked him if he, if he had any idea what could be causing the pain in hopes that he would help me identify the root of it and eradicate it from there. His answer though, wasn't convincing. He told me that it was likely due to, to an old injury that the body was still reacting to by tightening, thinking it was protecting itself. Sort of like a prolonged flinch. But even though I think that can be true for some people, I don't ever remember injuring my, my back, so I didn't think it applied to me. Instead, I thought there had to be more to the story, especially since even though he's a licensed therapist, he still looks at acupuncture from a more Western, literal, and physical perspective, rather than also taking into account the spiritual, emotional, and psychological aspects of it. So, in the back of my mind, I started forming an, a theory that the pain I was feeling was indeed caused by a knot, which was itself caused by fear which I had been dealing with and processing a lot of lately. I've already spoken on my fears surrounding money, success, and my career path in some of my videos, but I've also been experiencing a lot of fear surrounding possibly not having a shelter suit because I have to move at the end of the month, but I haven't yet been able to secure a place because of how crazy the housing market has been lately. I also noticed that, that I had been eating a lot more sugar than, than normal and that I always felt thirsty no matter how much water I was drinking. 
All of that is to say that I started to wonder if my fears were at the root of it, of it all. At least the sugar cravings made sense to me because I thought that the mind was probably subconsciously using them as a way to, to distract me from my fears. But I wanted relief sooner rather than later, and as I've said in some of my other videos, fear is a heavy emotion and, heavy, and processing heavy emotions takes time. And although I knew that acupuncture definitely helped with the pain, I also knew that it works best when done regularly. regularly. And at 75 bucks a session, it was starting to get expensive. So I had to find a way to bridge these two facts. A couple weeks passed when one day I remembered the powerful experiences I've had with acupressure. Immediately, I pressed the point of pain in my mid-back, but unfortunately, since it's an awkward location, I couldn't apply enough pressure, and my hands soon started cramping anyways. Then, I remembered that I had heard of people massaging their back using a tennis ball. So, I started wondering if rolling one up and down my mid-back would would give me the relief that I was looking for. A tennis ball I could afford. <laughs> to my delight, I did feel a difference after just one time of doing it. So I committed to doing it for the next few days. And each day, I felt more and more release for longer and longer periods of time. Until eventually, there came a day where I didn't feel any pain or tightness there for the first time since I had been getting acupuncture for it. I thought I had finally found the solution and that the pain would be gone for good, so I stopped massaging the area. But, again, within just a few days, I could feel the pain and tightness come back. So I started using the tennis ball again, but instead of massaging the area, I tried applying a constant pressure there instead, and what happened next shocked me. <laughs> if you want to find out what happened next, then please tune back in next week. And also, make sure to check out the playlist I linked down below for similar videos. But as for right now, thank you so much for watching. I feel so honored to be able to share my thoughts and experiences with you guys. If you like this video, then please hit that like button. I really appreciate it, and it lets me know that you like the content that I'm putting out. Also, if any part of what I said resonated with you, then please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing the video so it can reach more people. And don't forget to comment down below whether you've ever felt any sort of inexplicable pain which you thought might be caused by the emotions you were feeling at the time. One of the reasons I wanted to start doing YouTube was to be able to create and hold a space where we could have conversations about topics like this. I look forward to reading what you guys have to say and thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.